Cholestasis. What is cholestasis? Cholestasis is a liver disease. It occurs when the flow of bile from your liver is reduced or blocked. Bile is fluid produced by your liver that aids in the digestion of food, especially fats. When bile flow is altered, it can lead to a buildup of lilirubin. Lilirubin is a pigment produced by your liver and excreted from your body via bile. There are two types, intrahepatic cholestasis and extrahepatic cholestasis. Intrahepatic cholestasis originates within the liver. It can be caused by disease, infection, drug use, genetic abnormalities, hormonal effects on bile flow in addition, pregnancy can also increase your risk for this condition. Extrahepatic cholestasis is caused by a physical barrier to the bile ducts. Blockages from things like gallstones, cysts, and tumors restrict the flow of bile. Causes of cholestasis. Bile blockage can be caused by a number of factors. Medications. Your liver plays an important role in metabolizing medications. Some medications are more difficult for your liver to metabolize than others and may be toxic to your liver. Specifically, these medications include anabolic steroids. Some antibiotics, such as amoxicillin, amoxyl, moxitag, and minocycline, minocene. Some non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, NSAIDs, such as ibuprofen, Advil, Motrinib. Certain anti-epileptic drugs. Oral contraceptives. Certain antifungal drugs. Some antipsychotic drugs. Certain antimicrobial drugs. So, you should always take medications as directed. And don't stop taking medications your doctor has prescribed without talking with them first. Diseases. Certain diseases can cause scarring or inflammation to the bile ducts, leading to cholestasis. Specifically, conditions include bacterial infections, genetic disorders, such as sickle cell disease, Infections from viruses such as HIV, hepatitis, cytomegalovirus, and Epstein-Barr. Certain autoimmune diseases, such as primary biliary cirrhosis, which can cause your immune system to attack and damage the bile ducts. Certain cancers, such as liver and pancreatic cancer, as well as lymphomas. Symptoms of cholestasis. Both types of cholestasis result in the same symptoms. Jaundice, which is a yellowing of your skin and the white of your eyes. Pain in your abdomen, light-colored stool, excessive itching, dark urine, fatigue, nausea. However, not everyone with cholestasis has symptoms. And adults with chronic cholestasis are often symptom-free. Diagnosis of cholestasis. Your doctor will ask questions about your medical history. Moreover, you'll also have a physical exam. Blood tests may be ordered to test for liver enzymes that indicate cholestasis. When test results are abnormal, your doctor may order imaging tests like ultrasound or MRI. In addition, your doctor may also perform a liver biopsy. Treatment of cholestasis. The first step to treating cholestasis is to treat the underlying cause. For example, when one drug causes this condition, the doctor may recommend another. If an obstruction like gallstones or a tumor is causing the backup of bile, your doctor may recommend surgery. In most cases, obstetric cholestasis resolves after delivery. Women with obstetric cholestasis after pregnancy should always monitor this condition. Advice for cholestasis. Cholestasis can occur at any age, and in both males and females. Recovery depends on how severe the case was before it was first diagnosed. Another factor is the underlying cause of the disease. Taking gallstones, for example, is essentially a cure. Especially when your liver is failing, recovery can be more difficult. You can do a few things to reduce your risk for cholestasis. Get vaccinated for hepatitis. Don't abuse alcohol. Avoid using recreational intravenous drugs. So, see your doctor right away if you suspect cholestasis. Early treatment can improve your chances for a full recovery. Thank you. I hope you are always happy and healthy.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive useful information.